hey, hey. Is anybody home again today? Oh. Hello, people. Again, it likes to cut me off because the Instagram is trying to teach me a lesson that I am not going to play music. What happened to the rights of a free granny? That's my question. Hmm? Look at this. This is a great way to crush your cravings, okay? Because after all, I just put this post that was a repost that somebody reposted that was in my group and it was really just talking about how people don't talk about that time that you are understanding you are cocooned and you need to get out. You were a caterpillar and now you're trying to put a leg out and they don't want to talk about that transition time. They don't want to talk about um, what is going on. How can Carly be calling me? How can she not know I'm on live? Huh? Anyway, they don't want to talk about that transition time and you have to embrace that. Yes, you do. So um, I want to show you this. If you're having cravings and all that, First of all, this is my new little teapot that my friend got me. And catch y'all, this is so cute. Look at it. Look at it. My mama will have to have one of these today. I can tell we're going to the tea store and we might go to Costco's. Yes, we might, huh? And anyway, so it has this little insert that I was just trying to show y'all before I was so rudely interrupted. So as you see, it has the tea in there. And you can use it a couple times if you like to stretch your dollars like I do. And so anyway, I want to tell you what's in that because it's caffeine free and it's organic. This is from Spice and Yes, Spice and Tea.com. It's the Spice and Tea Exchange here in, in town, but it looks like this. Look at it. And it's Craving Crusher. And what's in there is organic hibiscus flour, organic peppermint, and organic licorice root. It's so flavorful. Look at its beautiful color. And I only let it steep about two minutes. But look, look at it. Do y'all see? Can y'all see? Did you want to see it? Ready? Very delicious. And... It could help you with cravings, you know. Hot teas, what about liquefying yourself? What about some lemon water? What about a little bit of blended and strained cranberry ju water juice that you would put a little bit in a large water? What about slicing up lemons or limes, blood oranges? What about cucumber slices? What about it? Liquefying yourself so you feel streamlined and when you're in the midst of these cravings and you can think to yourself, oh yeah, this is that feeling where I am used to doing my same pattern. I'm used to doing the same thing and I'm not getting anything different. It makes perfect sense, but yet what we would rather do a lot of times is just point the finger at other people. I, <laughs> I have a post up in my Instagram where somebody was talking about they could see my contacts. I don't wear contacts. I've never had a contact in my eyeball. And furthermore, I have perfect vision, and it used to not be, but that's not the point. Point is, when you see somebody with like, let's say they've lost 200 pounds, and you're looking at that, and uh, you don't really want to change, so it's easier to, and a lot of these things, it is trickery and all this, but you look at that and you think, yeah, well, well, that, yeah, if you want to like not eat anything ever, or you want to be on this restrictive lifestyle, or you want to, you know, whatever, you don't have any fun, listen, have your fun. Freedom is what I'm talking about. So you can just eat to live. Love first, eat later. What do you think? You can get to the point where you are more interested. Am I saying you're not going to eat? No. I'm just saying that you're not drug around by cravings. Love first and eat later. You can be more interested in self-love, to give love, to receive love, because you're in a state of purity, and it's brilliant. But you might want to, uh, until you get there, you know, you might want to have this uh, Craving Crusher Herbal Tea. As you see, 
not going to focus, does it? But uh, hibiscus flower, organic peppermint, and organic licorice root. Very, this is delicious, and it smells good, and it um, has a very sweet flavor without sweetening or anything else, you know? So I just want to give you that little, you could do that. It's a thing you could do. People in my group, they're ready to change their life, and it is invigorating is what it is. And um, people willing to take a look at what's holding them back. People willing to sit in silence when the cravings come and they realize it's almost like the demons inside that keep on controlling their life and they are almost like sitting in that craving and sitting in silence where the answer is and the sound of silence which no one enjoys anymore. The sound of silence and almost seeing like the white light of the truth of what you want to be burning out those things which have been demons in your life and you're releasing those. Huh? What do you think? Licorice root. That must be what's sweet in there. Um, Rachel, hello, beautiful. <gasps> which just made me think of something. I have to go out to the trunk and get my Myra Weaver out of the trunk and hang it up because Carly gave that to me yesterday. And then I did another thing and I saw a friend and then I was sidetracked by the the magic in the air and I love y'all, I really do. So anyway, I just want to tell you that. I don't have much time to chat, but um, as always, I love to connect. Yes, I do. Let's have a little song and it won't let me sing long, so... We have to decide. I could play something different, but I can't really like turn it off this now because that would be wrong. I feel like it's like a bad omen if I did that, so. comes down to you if you're gonna have some self-love setting up some borders and boundaries in your life what is it you want for your life maybe you don't even know and might I lovingly suggest that's why you ain't getting it you know